Well, hey guys, I'm here with my mate Paul Reed. Now you probably know him better as Mr. Land Cruiser. Now he's brought his 40 series to see me. So Paul, tell me some more about the, uh, the truck here. Um, she's pretty original and that's why mm. it's here. That's mm -hmm. half the problem is um, 1983, 47, 2H diesel. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm starting to have a few issues with the 35 year old yeah, um, yeah. wiring loom. So. That's right, so on the way back from Melbourne, we had a few electrical problems, didn't we? Yes. Your, the regulator went down and started overcharging and blew the fuse inside it. Yep. And you had to drive for five hours to oh, Dubbo yeah, to on a, to one, of, one, of, one of Rufy's batteries, wasn't it? We swapped yes. them over. Yep, one, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, so what, what's your plan? What, what, what do you want um, out of this? Like? There's a lot of mess in here. I'm not the first owner, so a lot of farmers and stuff, mm -hmm. they've added lights here and added wiring there mm -hmm. and tapped in. Mm -hmm. So I'm really hoping that you could clean up the mess mm -hmm. and then also work on um, some of the original stuff, yep. like the, the light fittings and that. They're just And old. you've got some additional accessories to go on there as well, like light uh, spotties and things I do, like that. Yeah, spotties, aerial. All right, so my, my plan is to strip, because it's over the years, so much stuff has been added to it. Right, I'm going to rip all that out. Yep. All right, we're going to start from afresh. We're going to come back to an original loom. Yep. And then we're going to add all the accessories again. And that should get rid of all the gremlins, all the problems that you've started to have. Like, what is it? When you put the lights on, the radio comes on, on and yeah. all, all stuff like the that. Yeah, turns off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thing, so, yeah. so, yeah, I've got big plans for this, mate. We're going to be using some, uh, some cool um, insulation for the wires. We're going to be replacing some of the connectors with some IP67 rated connectors so you won't have any problems with water anymore and that. Yep. So, yeah, mate, I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be a really Thank good you. one. I better get on with it, eh? Let's Excellent. do it. Nice Nice one. Thank you. Right, so as you can see guys, we've got conduit here, been added over the years, there's loads of it. We're gonna consolidate that into one, one lump, one conduit. We've got relays here that are just taped up. Yeah, it still works, but that's all right. We've got fuses just hanging around. These, these old connectors, I like putting IP68 rated uh, connectors on there. Um, yeah, it's just a, a mishmash of wiring in here. We're gonna tidy it all up. Uh, and it's going to look awesome, trust me. Right, coming inside the truck, uh, Paul's been saying he's having a lot of trouble with the, the, the fuse box, these old glass fuses. So what we're going to do, we're going to take that out and we're going to replace it with a more modern fuse box with some blade fuses in there. And then we're going to get up, up underneath the dashboard here and we're going to tidy up the mess that is under there, mate. And trust me, there's some mess. All right, the rear of the vehicle, we've got the rear LEDs here. They're all cracked and broken. We're going to be changing them out. All the wiring under the under the truck here, there's just loads of it. We're going to be consolidating that into Conju. Give him a new bracket for his uh, his trailer wiring and his reverse camera. We'll definitely sort some of that out. So yeah, and then we go round round this way. Watch this. Right. So don't get me wrong. I like a cable tie, but it is a bit excessive up here. I don't think it needs so many. And um, we'll get all that again into one single conduit. And I'm going to make something up in the back here, rather than having just two SIG sockets. Make a little box up so it has a SIG sockets inside here. Maybe an Anderson plug for his compressor, and that'll all look good, man. Right, so I've got well stuck into Paul's Land Cruiser here. As you can see, there's loads of old conduit that's come off, loads of redundant wiring that we're going to be replacing. Now, we're also going to be replacing the old sealed beams. Now, loads of you out there know that they give, give out a real orange light, real low level light, so we're going to do away with those. But Paul said he wanted to retain the old school look of the vehicle, so we've gone for these semi sealed. Uh, lenses here and it retains the original look on the front and there but the loads brighter I don't know 60 watt bulb to put in there so at the back you can see what happens with evolution of wiring over the years there's obviously been a problem on the rear rear electrics for the rear lights now rather than fixing the problem someone's just jumped across from one plug to the other now that's no good we're going to be chopping all that out and putting it back to standard now as you can see these are the old plugs this is the old the rear loom for the vehicle these are the old plugs. Now, they've got a bit of green def in there. This is what the original problem must have been, um, and they've jumped across. And now, as you can see, there's loads of perished uh, insulation tape that's obviously been on there for years, and that goes to the, the, uh, the tow bar electrics. Now over here, look at the filth that's been in there, from oil that's come off of wherever, and there's, look, exposed wiring, which we've got to sort out and insulate, because that's no good. And then uh, after that, we'll be going around the front of the vehicle. So we've got the strip back loom with all the conduit taken off it. And in line here, this is the original, original little box with some glass fuses in there. Loads of corrosion and rust on the connections. That's no good. So we're going to be replacing all these with modern insulated blade fuses in line. And then, and then yeah, that will look good. So let me come around here. Now this is all the wiring 
for the compressor for the air lockers. Now it was all up there, all the relays were up at the box. Well what we're going to be doing, we're going to be having a little consumer unit like we did on Milo 2 and we're going to be running all the relays in there and then rerunning all the cables down to the back. Just so it's all in one place so if there's any issues in the future he knows exactly where to go to fix it. Right, so this is the rear loom that we showed you earlier out of the 40 series. Now that's done with, chuck that away. And I've knocked up a new rear loom. Now we're going to be replacing all the connectors with these Deutsche connectors, the best things on the market. Um, we've got the Tech Flex braided uh, insulation here. We've got the half inch for the bigger stuff, a little quarter inch for the, uh, for the smaller wires. And that's all good, that's ready to go in. Now take you around the front. Right, so this is the driver's side uh, engine loom. Now you see we've replaced it with the, the braided Tech Flex. We've got <clears throat> we've, the inline fuses I was telling you about earlier. They've been replaced with these ones, the nice new modern ones. Right, so when you, if you're ever doing this, make sure, especially on the Toyotas, they've got a fusible link after this little box. You have to retain that fusible link to keep it safe or put in MIDI fuses or something like that. So I've still got to put the Deutsche plugs connectors in line here and that's going to connect to the rear loom that we've built over there and it'll be good. Right, hey guys, exciting times. It's delivery day. I'm down here at Mr. Land Cruisers dropping his HJ47 off. Hey. Paulie, stop sticky beaking, come over here and let me show you what's really been going on. Excellent. Right, so you remember we had all that conju going down the back there, it was like spaghetti junction up there, man, with all that stuff. We got rid of all that. Now we've put everything in this new Tech Flex braided sleeve in. Now we've done that right through the vehicle. But we've got the, we've given you one of these consumer boxes. Now this has got your relays and your fuses in it. Now this stops them from being up on the bulkhead here in, in individual things. It puts them in there, neat tidy and accessible. Moving around to the front, we've got all the all the connectors now, I've got the Deutsche plugs, oh, so they're fully sealed, fully oh, weatherproof, that's right mate. We've got your sealed beams, semi-sealed beams, sorry, on the front there, and they're 60 watt bulbs in there, so there'll be loads lighter than your old sealed things that you had on there. You've got your ferret lights, um, and there, that's like, again, that's all in the Tech Flex, all down the chassis leg, they're all P-clipped up nicely. UHF aerials, you give us an extra one. So you've got two UHFs inside now. Yep. Um, and you've got the, one of them's for your stereo, right? So they're all there, all exactly the same space apart, all sticking up in the same direction. Nice. Um, moving round, again, with all the tech flexes in the back here, all, all cable tied up nicely down the, down the flitches there. Coming, the next step is coming down the back here. Now, you must remember this. This was the <laughs> conju, the, the, the lines for the, the air lockers, was all just, it was terrible, yeah, it was if, I, if I may say so yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. I so, that. yeah, right. <laughs> so we've got that all P-clip there, nice and neat. Yeah. You wouldn't even recognize it, really. Um, so you had your two little SIG sockets here that were out and exposed to the elements. Yep. We've got a little box there. You've got two SIG sockets. You've got your switches for your, your canopy lights here. Awesome. And you've got, also got a little Anderson in there if you need to plug yeah, high well. amperage stuff in there, yeah? So this part of the loom here at the rear is all brand new, right? Yep. It had been eaten into so many times by whoever over the years, there was green death in it. Yep. I thought, throw it in the bin, let's start again. Start again. So you've got your new, these are all ADR approved now as well, your rear lights, whereas they weren't before, oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, you've got all along the back there, it's all neat and tidy. We fixed your uh, tow bar electrics and your camera under there, that's all back on there. And then, yeah, we go up. This is my favorite bit, Paulie, you'll love this, the cab, mate, the cab. All right, so hop in, Paul, check it out. Hey, so yeah, you remember we had all the wiring, you couldn't even see your toes. Um, all that's been put where it should be, up above the steering column, not rubbing on the pedals and on the steering column and the UJs and all that. Um, we've got the new fuse box here. We've got blade fuses in there, much more reliable than the old glass ones. Um, Hema, up there where you wanted it. Perfect. That's yeah, perfect. you see what I mean? You can. It's not that bad to see it at all. So, uh, and then last but not least, we've got the DC-DC charger system behind your passenger seat there. That's on a little carpeted marine ply board, um, all consolidated back there, nice and neat, out the way, you never have to touch it. That's awesome. So what do you yeah. think, mate? I'm pretty impressed. It's yeah? a different car, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's all the wires dangling? Oh, exactly, That's mate. So you don't want to be doing needed. that. Yeah. It's so, even under the engine bay, you can, um, there's just not coloured wires everywhere. That's it mate, and the wiring now will last for another 30 years to come. Yeah. Just got to do the rest of it now. Ready for the next trip. That's it mate. <laughs> nice one. Well, it was a pleasure mate. Excellent, thank Take you. Take it sir. easy man.